Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Lauren Anthony. I'm here with Social Life Vlogs. I'm sure if you have subscribed to my channel already, you know who I am. But I'm back just to talk to you about something very interesting, something that's a hot topic right now. Hot topic, but also not such a hot topic, but everybody's wondering about it. I'm gonna talk about the PCR swab test. And this is the test that you take to know if you are negative or positive for coronavirus or COVID-19. So I'm gonna talk to you about this test since I've got it done. I've actually done two tests. I've done the rapid test as well as the PCR swab test. So I will talk about the PCR test first because this is the test that was in the news that everybody was talking about, was the first test that came out for coronavirus or COVID-19 during this pandemic here that's worldwide, international. And while my experience, I wanna to talk to you about how it was, what my experience was with the PCR test and also the rapid test as well. So the PCR test is a swab that you've probably heard of. It's got these horror stories that everybody was talking about where they take this long swab like Q-tip and they stick it up your nose and they say it almost touches your brain. It goes so far back that it tickles your brain, they say, and it can be painful. Uh, I did a little research and asked some friends even who had done it before what their experiences were like when I knew I had to get it done. I wanted to get it done so I could go on a trip that I needed to do. Um, in the end, we didn't end up taking the trip because they changed their laws and regulations as far as letting us in, but I still did the test regardless. So I figured I would share with you guys my experience as I had a lot of questions and was curious about it because I did hear horror stories and was a little scared to be honest. I was a little afraid of what it might be like, if it would hurt, because I just heard horror stories before. So I wanted to share my experience with you guys since I experienced it and I know I had a lot of questions about it and what it was like and now I can share that with you guys. So the PCR test was actually not that bad to be honest i had heard horror stories about it tickles your brain and it really hurts um, for a few minutes after people were having headaches after i heard different symptoms as far as people actually felt like it they could feel touching their brain i had some people tell me that they didn't feel it at all and it was hardly anything it's just you know 10 seconds and it's a quick you know swab and it's over with and you get over it fast but I did have some people tell me that it wasn't that bad, it hurt for a few seconds, but I actually heard more stories about it uh, actually feeling like it hit their brain. It felt very uncomfortable. That was seemed to be the common theme was it was felt uncomfortable. So once I heard that, at first I heard that it was uh, actually painful and that was what made me put my guard up and be nervous about it. But then after asking friends and doing a little more research, most people said it was just uncomfortable. So that made me feel a little bit better about taking it. I don't wanna be in pain, nobody wants to be in pain. So I was of course hesitant and now I feel a little better knowing that it's not painful, but it is just uncomfortable. Again, everybody has different reactions. I definitely think it depends on the doctor you have as well, because I heard that some doctors were just very rough and just kind of shoved it up there and that's how it hurt. Um, and then I had some people tell me, ask your doctor to take it easy, just tell them you're sensitive or you're nervous and tell them to just go easy on you. So that's actually what I did. When I went into the doctor's office, I think I was lucky to have a very caring, uh, nurturing, nice doctor. And he was very cool about it. He said, you know, I understand how I would want it done is how I'm gonna do it for you. So I think that definitely helps. And I think if you're gonna go get the test, I definitely recommend it. I don't think it was bad at all, my personal experience. Um, is I made kind of a big deal about it because of the stories I've heard, but then what I realized is I think it really does depend on you. Everybody has a different experience. People have different sensitivities. Um, but even more than that, I think you need to, when you go in, definitely just tell your doctor, tell the doctor, tell them that you're a little nervous, you just want them to take it easy, that you're sensitive, and that's exactly what I did. And Surprisingly, I had a really good experience. In a way, it actually kind of tickled a little bit. So it was hardly anything. Uh, he took out the swab and it was long. And when I saw it, I said, wow, that's long, but you know, I'm already committed, let's do it. And I went ahead and got the swab test done. He put it up there for a few seconds and then he told me to put my head up, you know, so he could go in there. And 
I was holding my head up, and then he basically stepped back and he said, okay, we're all done, and he had put the swab in a little baggie, and I still had my head up. This is how easy it was, was I felt it kind of go up, it tickled a little bit, and then I didn't feel it anymore, and he said, okay, we're all done, and I was still holding my head up, and I said, okay, do you need to get it out? And he was like, I already took it out. So he had put it up, swirled it around a little bit and took it out and I didn't even realize it was taken out. That's how much I didn't feel it. I just felt it a little bit move up and it tickled and then it was really fast. I mean, like, I didn't even realize it came out. Uh, he took it out and he said, yeah, you're all done. So I just wanna let you guys know, don't be nervous, don't be afraid. If you have to get it done or you're thinking about getting it done, it's not this horror story. Of course, everybody's different, but I think a big difference is if you tell the doctor to take it easy. If you don't say anything, they might not know. They might just be trying to get through the day. They are doing a lot of testing right now, and maybe they're trying to make it quick, or they're not really thinking about, you know, it hurting you or something like that. I don't really know what's going on in their minds, but I definitely recommend that you can go into it. It was not bad at all, at least from my experiences. I've heard different experiences, but I definitely think if you tell your doctor, uh, make sure you tell them that you know you're a little nervous just to take it easy on you and I think you'll be fine I had no problem I actually kind of enjoyed the experience as well weird as that sound it was like an experience to me and it didn't hurt it actually tickled it felt a little funny but no pain whatsoever and the results came back in five days they do say that most results come back between seven and 10 days. So 10 days maximum. It depends on how many other tests they have to do because once the doctor does the test, they actually take your sample with the swab and they send it to a lab. So it depends how many tests the lab actually have is how far or how soon you can get your tests back. So I got it back in five days, which was great. It was earlier than the seven days that they said. They told me originally it would, between, would be between seven and 10 days. And then when I got there, they said it will probably be seven days. That's the average. And I got it back in five. So that was great. I also heard other people got it back sooner within three days or two days at the lowest I've heard at the least amount of days. So just keep that in mind, but I would definitely give it enough time if you're on a time period or something or you need it for traveling. I know it's the place I had it for. You had to have it results within 10 days from the day you took it and also be able to travel on that day. So just keep that in mind. Definitely give that 10 day time period just in case. But uh, yeah, it was very easy. I actually got my results online even before they called me and told me that my results were in. So they also called me and told me. So it was great. I had a great experience. I will also talk to you about the rapid test because I did that one as well. And the rapid test was also very easy. I had no issues with it. They used a much smaller swab. It's about the same thing, a Q-tip. I would say like a regular size Q-tip. And they just basically just go here to the bottom. Uh, so I didn't feel it going up. It just kind of went here. They take a quick swab just at the bottom and that was it. And I hardly felt anything. I mean, you feel it around, but it's just right here. So it doesn't go up the nostril. And I had those results back in 15 minutes. Now, of course, I was negative on both. Thankfully, uh, I wasn't too concerned because I have been very careful. I constantly use hand sanitizer. I'm constantly washing my hands with soap, antibacterial soap. I'm constantly social distancing, keeping my six feet from people. But of course, I have been active. I have gone to some of the theme parks. I have been busy. I have gone out of my house. I want to still live my life. It's been like five months now that we're dealing with this pandemic. So. I did go out and do things, but I was also very careful, uh, but I needed to get it done for the travel that I wanted to do, and in the end I didn't do it, but at least I have these experiences and I can share them with you. So I would not be worried about the rapid test. I love that you get the rapid test back in 15 minutes. That was awesome. I did hear that about, I think she told me it was 9% of the tests that come back negative though on the rapid test are actually incorrect and you could be positive. So I think that the PCR test, swab test, is a little more accurate if you're looking for accuracy, but it does take longer to get your results. Uh, I don't think the rapid test is a bad one. I think it's pretty much, you know, for the most part it is, accurate but you have a little more of a slight chance that it could not be uh, accurate so keeping that in mind again i loved about the rapid test getting it back within 15 minutes my results that was really cool i was a little anxious waiting every day you know checking because i was told seven days but i was also told 
my friend to come back earlier, three, five days, and uh, I was checking every day, very anxious. And yeah, it was really good. I had no bad experiences. I had a really good doctor. I made sure to let him know that I was a little nervous. So he was very easy going on me, took it easy. And I think that was a big help. So hopefully this video helped you guys. You can, you know, go and take the test if you need to, and you don't have to be nervous at all. Just make sure you tell the doctor to take it easy. I think that makes a big difference. And I think you should be fine. So hopefully this puts you at ease a little more. Both tests, the rapid and the other piece our swab tests were a breeze for me personally and I think it can be for you too as long as you just you know talk to the doctor and let them know that you just want them to go easy on you so that's it if you have any questions about the, either of the tests and it's something maybe I forgot to mention make sure you drop me a comment below and I'll be happy to respond to you as soon as I can as soon as possible I will get back to you and answer any of your questions that I may have not answered here today so hope you enjoyed this short video hope it was informative and you learned something and if you need to take the test don't worry just let them know exactly how you're feeling and everything should go smoothly. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next video.